Thank you. I like when you hand me maps as soon as I walk in. Hospital? I thought we were going to school. Oh, sorry, Maria. <laughs> Seems to be about the patients hospitalized here. Ooh. Jack Davis. He... He has attempted suicide three times. Oh crap, I skipped it. <laughs> okay, we're skipping everything. We're starting over. I gotta run to the bathroom while you do this. Oh, I'll wait for you. No, don't wait for me. I'm no, I'm planning. gonna wait for you. Alright, I'm gonna go as fast as I can. Start up a conversation with Sinister Dark Soul. Yeah. Maria is trying to trick you with her sexual ways. She like... Oh, she like, forget your wife. I could be your future ex. Hey. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to go out that way. I wasn't done looking around. Whatever. Oh! This is a very tight space we're in, Maria. Something is written on it. Oh, I still didn't read that other thing. I have to go back there and do that. The potential for this illness exists in all people and under the right circumstances, any man or woman could be driven like him to the other side. I know, I've been there a couple of times. <laughs> the other side perhaps may not be the best way to phrase it, and yet I just did twice. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. I don't think unreality is a real place, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, yeah, I've been is... living there my whole life. <laughs> There's a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher, or even a psychiatrist. Okay, well, a doctor and a... Okay. I don't think he understands how psychiatry works. <laughs> but sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us, his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind, but to him, there simply is no other reality. Furthermore, his happiness there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Because he's a piece of shit and he owes me money. <laughs> <laughs> Some, something else is written by hand. Motherfucker, pay me. Pay me what I'm owed. I got a key from Joseph. It's probably the key to that box. I got the purple bowl key. I'll give you a purple bowl key. Gamer042 says hello. You might hello. not show up like that. That's it's Howard. <laughs> Welcome back, Howard. Go Who's on. Howard? Howard! He, <laughs> you don't pay attention. <laughs> I told you, he's a, he's a good guy. He, like, he likes coffee. He likes coffee. <laughs> Different kinds of memos are hanging up, but there's nothing of particular interest. Hey, Howard, I hear you like coffee. Oh, wait, so we were going to read this and I messed it up. That's not what I wanted to look at. It's okay, Howard likes coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Everybody, coffee. Right. The Jack. Sun, the <laughs> I'm so glad you know what I was talking about. Oh my god. It's such an obscure reference. <laughs> we didn't watch it. When we were watching our South Park Christmas specials, we didn't watch that one. No, okay, you know what you know why that um 
that uh, that episode has some special significance in our family because the first time that was season one, right? Season one came out mm-hmm. in 1998. So I saw that yeah. saw that episode when I was like nine, and uh, we were watching it with our mom, and uh, <laughs> and uh, when that first started, when they when they like redacted and censored and messed up the whole Christmas play to make it as like peaceful and not offensive and. Um, Call it PC. Non-demon- non-denominational as possible. Then they presented it was going to be scored by Philip Glass. And then my mom just like bust out laughing because I guess Philip Glass was like was like uh, music my dad would play all the time. <laughs> my dad was a big Philip Glass fan. I still don't know who the fuck Philip Glass is, but <laughs> apparently my dad liked Philip Glass. And then I'm when they said know. that, when they said that on this show, my mom just started laughing and they started playing that Philip Glass music they made up and my mom just could not stop laughing. She's like, that's totally what he sounds like. I was like... <laughs> Look at him up. So... <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh my god, this is like... <laughs> and yeah, she has that whole part memorized as I look to the sun. The rays burn my eyes, and they're doing some weird, like, performance art dancing. <laughs> All the kids. What the f- <laughs> uh, I'm listening to it right now. It's like ambiance, right? It's like ambiance music. Well, it's like creepy fucking circus music. <laughs> yeah, it's synthesizers. Do, 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 do. Oh, Anyways, God, so it. that was... After we watched Red Sleigh Down and uh, Merry Christmas Charlie Manson, that's what we were going to watch. But then uh, my mom went to bed, so I was like, oh, well, she's not here. What's the point? I'm so glad you I'm so glad you got the reference, though. Anyways, I was reading this thing. <laughs> he has attempted suicide three times in the past for reasons unknown, although he is normally a model patient who follows doctors and nurses' orders. He's a dickhead. He must be watched closely due to his past pattern of sudden and violent suicide attempts. Joseph Barkin. His illness seems to be rooted in the fact- oh, and on that note, root beer is good- seems to be rooted in the fact that he believes he is guilty of causing his daughter's death. His symptoms suggest a psychotic break and paranoia, paranoid delusions. Normally calm, but has a tendency towards violence when excited. Jo- Joshua Lewis. History of hospitalization as well as numerous assault, battery, and other violent offenses. He has a strong per... Persu- Per- oh, persecution complex and a tendency to solve things through violence. Extreme caution necessary. Damn, man. Damn, man. A and T. Uh-oh. Howard, I got a very important question to ask you. All right, so in my left hand, I hold your nutsack. Oh, sack. my gosh. In my right hand, I hold a hammer. And I tell you, one of your testicles is going to get crushed. Which one do you choose and why? You have to be able to answer this question. This is this what's gonna be like? Just all these doors are gonna be locked. Locked, 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 locked. Oh, that's unlocked. Hang on. That's unlocked. Saving lives one hypothetical nut crack at a time, lol. SH is a land of many locked doors. Can't argue with that. Oh, this is a stairwell. I don't know if I want to go down the stairs. Yeah, you do. Oh, I don't want to go up the stairs yet. I'm not ready. You want to go down the stairs. We made a movie a long, we made a movie a long time ago. Yeah, get Here's the, the door open. Now you're just making excuses, James. We made a movie a long time ago when we were kids, and uh, the premise of the movie was that we all wanted to go down the stairs. Look, some guy comes in and just says, hey guys, I got an idea. Let's all go downstairs. 
And so the movie is all of us just falling down a flight of stairs, one by one. Did I see that? I think you did. I think uh, we weren't dating at the time. It was just you and me in the car. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give her the test. <laughs> if this doesn't scare her away, then, she, then maybe she's the one. And that shows you the movie Phobia with all of its nonsensical grandeur. And I noticed that you didn't. Twitch is. I'm too lazy to switch back and forth to YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, that's fine, Howard. I'm sorry, keep going. I wanted to hear what you were saying. Well, the fact that you didn't light yourself on fire halfway through just kind of showed that, hey, you know what? Alright. I'm okay with this. Yeah, there you go. I would have felt very guilty if you did. We can't leave. Nah. Where are you planning to go? You can't leave. Not until you find Laura. Find Laura yet. Like, Laura, well, it was an accident. Do you know where every door in this place leads to? Like, how did she get? How did she get over there? Look where she is. We just entered this room. She's a ghost. Well, her, she's she's not real. She's a figment of your imagination. She could be anywhere at any given point in time. She's precisely where you want her to be. She's real if you want her to be. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Can't you feel her? She's real. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm not your Maria. I'm not your Mary. I'm not your Mary. God damn it. Son oh, you were doing so well. God fucking mother. God. Yep. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just redrawing the priest for like the fifteenth time, you know. Why? Because I have to draw the priest over and over. What was that? I'm an animator. I gotta draw the priest. Okay, so I guess we are going up the stairs because there's no other doors we can go through. Oh, we haven't gone to the uh, examining room one. So there's that. Uh oh, germs! Gotta disinfect. Reach for the big guy. Who did you expect, Mr. Clean? Mr. Clean? What? what? Mr. Clean disinfects, so put him on your team. He's got the muscles to kick the shit out of things that are fucking <laughs> I don't think that's how the song goes. Motherfucking piece of shit, motherfucking little. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Why did the music I think so. Is it just because we're in the stairwell? Are we gonna run into gonna... scary nurses up here? Ooh. Not scary, they're sexy. And, um. I feel like the most innocent version of the nurse is in the first game because nobody knew that the nurses were going to be, uh... Oh, they just killed me. Well, clearly I can use a pipe here. It's okay if we just save her. We'll be fine. Okay, again with this? Come on now. Like, I honestly don't know how... Oh! It's the B button. Um, Guyver Streetwood. Yeah, you keep saying that. Mighty Pirate. There we go, I found the staircase again. Floor number two. Gonna shoot some nurses. Have you ever considered that the flying elbow might be the solution to all of life's problems? Like, so you can't afford, you can't afford to eat pizza tonight? You give your elbow a couple of taps, jump on the turnbuckle, and then just fly through the air and drive your elbow straight into your opponent's face. 
Please, and then I used to play stuff online, but my interweb isn't reliable enough to connect. Then you can eat pizza. Really also, I'm too far away from the box to properly run the Ethernet cable. Kind of stream shots and occasional short vids. That's too. I hear that a lot. Like um, I know, being scared lives. I don't think he lives close to you in California, but he lives in California as well. And like his internet pirate. is garbage as well. So I think the internet and. From what I understand, in the states, you guys don't have the option of switching internet providers if you don't like no. your internet. So yeah, that fucking sucks. Unless of course you're Guyver Streetwood. Oh, okay. A mighty pirate. Guys, I think Heidi's gonna break up with me. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi's gonna break up with Guyver Streetwood, a mighty pirate. A room full of lockers. Oh, I got the examination room key. Maria, what are you? How did you get here? It's the locker won't. The locker won't. Yeah, she totally. She totally does um teleport when you she go into totally a new room. Does. I'm like Jagger Streetwood. A mighty pirate. I found a teddy bear. Uh, I found a lawnmower. Ow. What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are I found okay? Jagger Streetwood. Yeah. A mighty pirate. I am a long locust. What in the world do I do with I that? Am... I mean... Oh, there's a shotgun! Oh, <laughs> that hurt my throat. Uh, all I'm gonna say is, um... That Walker won't open because Maria is in the friggin' way. All I'm gonna say is that life does have a debug, um, does have a debug menu. You just gotta learn how to access it. And then you can... You can edit oh. your children. What happened? Thumper is crying! Let him in your room! He doesn't want to come in my room. He wants to come in my room. He's lonely! He's so scared out there. He's communicating with them. He's communicating with my uh, roommates. Cat does not want anything to do with me. That's not true. He likes you. No, he doesn't. No, he does. so. You should have saw the look he was giving me when I was waiting for my food in the microwave. He's just like, look at you. What a sad fucking excuse for a human Man. being you are. <laughs> I don't think he said any of that. I don't think he really said I think, any of that. I think I have pounced upon rats with more dignity than you, you stump fuck. I'm like, dude, what is your problem? He's like, I don't have a problem. I'm a cat with no tail and a clip ear. <laughs> you, on the other hand, you are a human with clip balls. I'm like, well, okay, that, that's enough. I'm not going to take any more of this from you. <laughs> I'm going to turn my volume down just a little bit to uh, curtail the echo. I can still hear you, though. Don't worry. This is where I want to be. So you have the uh, bent needle. You're gonna find a room with a drain. You're gonna want. To... Okay, my apologies. Don't spoil. I up. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Don't you just love this game? Excuse me, legs. Don't you dare kick me. We're gonna kick you. We're gonna kick you square in the butt. We're gonna keep you screwing the bus sex. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, I've been meaning to fire up uh, Red Dead 2 again. Ooh, we found some more secret stuff. 
Uh, there's a typewriter here. I got no use for this. Wait oh, a minute. What's do. this? If you had an ink ribbon, you could save your game. There's a sheet of carbon paper stuck in the typewriter. I can still read the print left on it. I know it. I know the number on the box. 5421. It can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't scare me, so nobody can stop who I am. I don't know who I am. Who I am is who I am is. That's right, buddy. Thank <laughs> you.